A custom Wii theme is a fantastic way to give a final touch to your modded Wii. And with this brand new method that I'm going to show you, it's easier than ever. So today I'll be showing you how to install custom themes on your Wii or your Wii U's virtual Wii. This also works on the Wii Mini, but that seems vastly outnumbered as my community post suggests. But if you have a Wii Mini, comment down below and let me know. Now, if you haven't modded your Wii or your Wii U yet, I do have videos linked in the description to get you started as you do need it to be homebrewed already. And you'll also need a computer because we're gonna set up our files there and transfer them onto our SD card for our console. So to get started, I'll have a link down below for this official guide on how to install custom themes. It's gonna have all the links we need. And the first thing you'll notice is all these warnings. So please do not continue this guide unless you have brick protection. If you have Wii, you should have boot me and preloader. And if you are on Wii U, you should have preloader. Installing custom themes is higher up there on the bricking risk, although it, it's still rare if you follow everything perfectly and get trusted themes. I'm not saying these things to scare you, I'm just making sure you know that there is a risk when it comes to installing custom themes. So if you scroll down all the way to requirements, we're gonna start off by getting CSM installer. This is the program we're gonna get our backup of our original theme, along with installing the custom themes once we create them. So if you wanna click on that, it'll take us to the open shop channel, just scroll down and we're gonna be getting the zip file for CSM installer. So you will need an extraction software like WinRite or 7-Zip. But once you have that, we can exit that page. And now we're gonna set that app up on our SD card. So now with our downloads on the left and our SD card for our modded Wii or Wii U on the right, we're gonna open up the zip file. It'll have an apps folder. And all we're gonna do is drag the apps folder onto the root of our SD card. If we go inside, you'll see that there is CSM installer and that is everything we need. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and delete the zip file. We no longer need it. And we can switch over to our console and, and let's get the base theme. Now I'm gonna be doing this on my Wii, but if you are on Wii U and you don't know your region, before you go into your virtual Wii menu, just head into system settings and in the top right, it will have a letter after the version. As you can see, mine is U, that means North America, E for Europe, etc. And if you like that custom Wii U theme, check the description and I'll have a video for that down there. But once you know your region, you're good to go to your virtual Wii menu and I will switch over to my Wii as well. Now, if you have a normal Wii, let's go into Wii Options, then Wii Settings, and again, in the top right, you'll see a version number and the letter of your region. As you can see, mine is on 4.3, and it's U for North America. We will need this later, so please take a note or just don't forget. And it is also recommended to have your Wii connected to the internet. But now that you know your version and your region, we are good to head back to the menu and head into the Homebrew channel. So at this point, whether you're on Virtual Wii or Wii, it's gonna be the same. And once it loads we're looking for CSM installer so right here load it up and it'll just go through this loading screen give it a minute if you don't have preloader it will inform you and then as you can see there it says saved original theme to SD slash themes so once you see that just press a to continue and you'll see this main menu and here we have an option to save a backup of the current theme or download original Wii theme which is the base theme and we're gonna go ahead and do that so press a on download original Wii theme and we're all good it was already saved in that initial setup press any button to continue and if for some reason you can't connect your Wii or your VWE to the internet well you can just back up your current theme which will be the same it'll work as the base and now we are good so I'm gonna to return to the homebrew channel make sure I have preloader because this isn't a Wii I normally use it's actually the Wii I used in the live stream where I backed up a NAND that didn't have preloader installed but now that we have our base theme we are good to turn off our console take your sd card out and then let's head back onto the computer and upon opening up your sd card you should see a new folder called themes and you should have a app file in here this is your original theme and this is also the base file we're going to use to create our custom theme so now that we have that we can open up go back to the guide right here so when it comes to getting custom themes there are two methods I'm gonna be showing you both just in case one of them does not work at the time you're watching this the first one is gonna be Wii themer this is a website that creates the build for you so you don't have to download anything else but the downside to this method is sometimes the website goes down, which actually was the case yesterday when I tried to record this video. But we'll start off with that one. And then secondly, we'll be using theme me and creating our CSM file ourselves. So let's start off by using Wii themer. So under theme sources, 
just click on we themer and this will take you to a website and it'll look like this now if this website is not accessible please check the timestamps for the second method where you build your own CSM file and this website is also not compatible with the we minis well you're gonna have to do the second method but we are going to be using the theme building channel right here. So click on that. Of course, there's a warning. So proceed at your own risk and this will load. So as you can see, we have a theme drop down menu, which you can scroll through if you want. So if I want to choose dark wee blue, it will show you a preview. You can click on it and it'll give you the menu there as well. It looks pretty cool. Tons of different options here, like seriously a ton of different options, which is <laughs> pretty awesome. So for the sake, I'll just pick Wii Sports. So pick your theme, make sure you like it, looks pretty cool. And below that is your system menu version. This is very important, this part that you select the proper one. So in the drop down menu, if you are on Wii, make sure to select the version. So personally, mine was 4.3, as you guys all saw. So I'm gonna be selecting 4.3, but please make sure to select the proper one. If you are on Wii U, on the virtual Wii, then you will be selecting VWE. Just a reminder, this part is very important because if you pick the wrong one, uh, you could brick your Wii and we don't want that to happen. So make sure to pick the right one the first time. So mine is 4.3 and again, system region, all you do is copy the letter that was on your Wii, but mine is North American, so I'll be selecting you. And once you have all three in there, you have an option to build the theme. But before we do that, on the right side, there's a couple different options. So you can have fast spin channels, spin channels, or no spin channels. I'll quickly put up a showcase of what spin channels are and you can choose from there. I'm gonna be doing no spin channels. But once you have everything selected properly, just double check, just click build theme. And as you can see, it gets the Wii Sports MYM file, and then it builds it into a .csm file. And then all you have to do is click on the download and you will download. It says to grab an install app from the, the main page, but we already have CSM installer, so we're all good. As you can see in the top right, it says an insecure download blocked. I'm gonna press keep. I've used this website before, so I know it is safe. But once you have that, you can download as much themes as you want. You are going to be able to go down a list and select which one you wanna install, so you can always switch between. So I'll quickly make a Wii Sports 4.3 you and then I'll do a spin channel one as well. Build theme, there we go. And it does say if it's spin or no spin, I'm gonna download that as well and press keep. And then we're good to open our downloads. I have mine on the left and my SD card on the right. So in that themes folder that was created, go inside. This is where your base app is. Simply place your CSM files in there. Press yes if Windows prompts you. And now you are ready to head over to your console and install these themes with the CSM installer. So again, I'm gonna be covering the second method first. So if you wanna skip ahead, just check the timestamps on the video timeline to where I install them on my console. All right, so the second method, we need to find our own .mym file. As of right now, there's three different options here. So I'm gonna be using the first link, but any of them work. <laughs> Here's a Windows XP theme. So I'm gonna grab that one. And depending on the theme, if we open two here, there's just a download. Since most of you are gonna be on 4.3, please select the 4.x. That just means it'll work on 4.0, 4.1, 4.3, etc. So click on that. This one was an automatic download and it was a .mym file. So now that we have that, we can go back to the guide, scroll down to requirements and click on theme me mod. So this is a program we're gonna be using to build our own custom theme. And now over in your downloads, open up the theme me zip file, and we're just gonna drag it onto our desktop or really anywhere you want on your computer. I already have it, so I'm replacing the files. We can back out, delete the zip file. We don't need it anymore. Open up theme me and click on the theme me.exe. Now, if Windows tries to protect your PC, thanks for looking out for us, but this one's okay. So just click more info and run anyway and it opened on the wrong screen. Here is theme me. And once you're in here, go to file, open. We're gonna go to our downloads and grab the .mym file. So click on that and press open, press create CSM. And now we're looking for an app file, which is the one we got from CSM installer on our console. So go to your SD card, go into your themes folder and it should be right there. Click on it and press open. 
and it should automatically open into your themes folder where we grab that app file. This is where our CSM file that we're creating is going to go. If it is not in that folder or if you want it somewhere else, just select the folder you want and then press save. It'll do its thing. It'll ask you if you want to save the MYM file. I'm personally not going to, I'm gonna press no, but you can if you want and that's it. So now if we go on to our SD card, into our themes folder, you should have whichever theme. So I have my Windows XP theme as a .csm file right there. And now it is ready to install. And you get to keep your base theme. So if you ever wanna switch back, you have it there ready to go. So now that we are ready, both methods have our themes good to go, ready to download. We can eject our SD card and head over to our console. Now that we're loaded on, this should be the last time you have this boring old theme. So enjoy it while you have it. Let's go install it, go to the homebrew channel and we're gonna be heading back into CSM installer. So load into CSM installer and we're just gonna select install a theme by pressing A. Here is our themes folder. So go ahead and install whichever one you want. I'll install my Windows XP press A on it, and then you'll have another option, just press plus to install. It should be pretty quick, these files aren't terribly large. Press any button to continue, and now, just press the home button, dun dun dun, just kidding, it's at the homebrew channel, <laughs> head back to your system menu, and here it is. Now I have a custom theme successfully installed. <laughs> Windows XP is kind of a funny one. It even has the two gig, it even has the cursor. That's so funny. I actually might keep this, that's wild. And then of course the process is the same. If you want to install another one, you don't have to switch back to the, the base theme and then install, you can just install the new one. So I'll quickly do that for the Wii Sports one as well. Do do. And if you got it from Wii Themer, you even get that lovely, this theme was signed by Wii Themer. Usually that should mean <laughs> it's safe. And just like that, I switched over to my Wii Sports theme. So I hope you enjoy your new custom themes. And if this video helped you out, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like button. And if you want, you're welcome to subscribe for future modding guides. Let me know in the comments what your favorite theme is. I personally like the Mario Kart Wii or the Discord theme, <clears throat> but the Windows XP one is pretty sweet. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope I helped. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>